Hello viewers, this is Simil and uh, today we are going to look at how to generate an EMIS Excel sheet to have our information of our learners being entered into. So what is an EMIS? An EMIS is an education management uh, information system aims to uh, collect, uh, integrate, process, maintain and disseminate data and information to support decision making, policy analysis and formulation, planning, monitoring and management at all levels of an education uh, system. So every school is required to have uh, that Excel sheet where they have to fill in the information of the learners uh, so that they can uh, upload it to, uh, to the ministry. So this process or this uh, uh, activity is being rolled out in all the schools, either primary, uh, secondary, tertiary, or even universities. So all the information of the learners is captured using the system. So let's see how to uh, generate the EMIS uh, management uh, system Excel or Excel in our computer. So you open in a browser of your choice, either you can use Chrome, Mozilla, or Page, or something else that can uh, help you to type in the, the website and type in EMI. Yes, you press enter key. It will open and then you come here, type, uh, click on login, click on login. Then you type in the login credentials, okay? Type in uh, your, your school's email account. Type in your school's email account. Uh, type in the password. Type in the password. Make sure you must have created an account with uh, this uh, uh, website before you can uh, log in. So if you missed a video about creating an account, I request you to go and watch that video of how to create an account with this uh, ministry uh, website so that you can uh, log in and how to generate an EMIS number. I've made a video on that. So I request you check out those videos. Thank you. So you click on sign in. So when you click on sign in, you move to uh, EMIS data, which is here. Then you click on upload data. When you click on upload data, you come beside uh, under update so you can see you have only five days uh, to upload your information and nine hours so you click on update data you click on learner learners uh, option then you move down you click on update learners information it will give you this option uh, of add learner with the index number upload ugandan learners Upload foreign, non-foreign learners, uh, refugee learners, and upload uh, refugee learners. So we shall click on upload uh, Ugandan learners. So we click on download dash Excel. So when you click download Excel, the system will generate the information according to your uh, the account you created or according to your uh, school's information on the website. So when you click uh, download, it is here, it has finished downloading. Then you just click on it to open. So when you click on it to open, uh, it will give us where we have to type. So you have to be patient and make sure you are using the updated uh, software or the up-to-date uh, application, uh, which is Microsoft Office uh, 2016 and above so that you can have all the features. If you're using Microsoft Excel 2007, you're going to miss out some features. Of course, it's going to show that it was going to remove some features from uh, 
from the application. So make sure you are using the app data application to open this uh, this uh, Excel sheet. So after that, you click on enable editing option to have all the features being activated. So here we have the option for typing in the Lana's surname, first name, other names, gender. With gender, you can just click uh, the uh, option down there. You select whether Elana is a female or a male. Then you type in that day. Uh, the learner was born, the month, and then the year. Then you move to class. Class, we have senior one, senior two, senior three, senior four. Make sure you have all the information of all these learners. Then the PL index number of the learner. Make sure this one is very important. Make sure you get the index number of all the learners. Then does learner have name? If he has name, you say he has name. Yes. Then here you type in the learner name. If does not have, you say no. Then you need to press black. Type of orphan. Uh, as the learner lost both the parents or dad or mom or not applicable if the parents all are there click not applicable then we have district type uh, choose district among uh, these options then special needs of the learner whether the learner has communication problem hearing impairment you choose from here it does not have belief then you have this other option of talents at least all learners must have talents so we pick in one of this so you can see we have at least we must put three talents of the learner then health issues uh, is this of uh, is the albinism epilepsy or sickle cells so you can just select from those options then parent or guardian surname, parent, guardian, first name, then parent uh, or guardian, other names. Then finally, you type in the uh, parent or guardian, me, that one is also a must. Then you also type the uh, parent or guardian, phone number from there. Okay. So after typing in, you do what? You save changes. Click on save changes click on save changes so our information has been saved so let's check how to i want to show you how to uh, to know that the sheet you're using is of your school some of you are using what they the uh, excel sheets whereby they are having uh, the emis of that school so let's go and see how we can know that the excel sheet we are using it is ours for the school so you come to download, then you go back to download. So it is here. I downloaded this sheet here. You click on it. So it will show you the location where it is being saved. But you can transfer this sheet onto into your personal folders so that you can work from there. So you, when you point on that uh, Excel sheet, it will show you the type of uh, the application you're using to show you the author, the author is having the EMIS of the school and the name of the school. So make sure your authors and place is having the EMIS of the school and having the name of the, the school. So make sure you generate your own sheet from the, uh, the website so that you can have all your information within your uh, Excel sheet. But if you use a different sheet to have a different EMIS. So that's how you generate an EMIS Excel sheet. Now, uh, I would like you to check uh, in one of my videos of how to create an account with that, uh, this uh, website and how to generate an EMIS of the uh of the school the emis number of the school make sure you watch that video thank you very much for watching i uh, see you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe like and share